The original Far Cry debuted in 2004. Developed by Crytek, the game took a genre known for its tight corridors filled with hordes of enemies and made it wide open. Taking the role of Jack Carver, a former U.S. Special Forces soldier, you find yourself stranded on an island filled with mercenaries who will kill him on sight if he doesn't shoot first. What immediately struck players was the notion of being able to go anywhere. You could ride any vehicle you saw, enter any jungle to explore, and take on enemies from a variety of approaches. This not only set the foundation for the rest of the series, but also influenced the FPS genre as a whole. A change in development teams and four years were what separated the Far Cry and Far Cry 2's releases. Now under the helm of Ubisoft Montreal, the sequel to the granddaddy of open world FPS games took everything that was great about the original and added new and interesting ideas. On top of the exploration, you were also tasked with taking over places of interest and outposts in order to establish a foothold and gain companions. Survival became an even bigger deal thanks to new mechanics such as managing a malaria infection through medicine, having to manually remove bullets and applying bandages to wounds. Some would argue it was Far Cry 2 that paved the way to today's survival titles. Arguably one of the greatest games ever created. Far Cry 3 was the one that really put the series on the map. While the original and its sequel refined the open-world FPS formula, Far Cry 3 tied it all together with a gripping story and memorable characters. The entire setting of the game feels more vibrant and alive. Wild animals behave in ways that you'd expect, making them both a boon and a bane, depending on how you approach them. New mechanics like cover shooting and a skill tree gave players even more freedom to play the way they wanted to, cementing the idea that Far Cry was all about freedom. The cherry on the top was the game's villain, Voss, who's not only regarded as the best in the series, but also one of the most intense and notable in gaming history. If we were to rank Far Cry 3 as the best in the series, then Far Cry 4 can be comfortably placed as a close second. It takes what has been working well in terms of story, gameplay, and features, and refines them. Far Cry 4 also has arguably one of the best settings in the entire series. Based on the cavernous regions of Nepal Kyat was an opportunity for the development team to experiment with more verticality. In addition to being able to flank and attack from hiding spots, Far Cry 4 gave you plenty of options to strike from above or even from below. Climbing mechanics and gliding on a wingsuit gave the game a grand sense of scale unlike any other game in the series. Forget firearms, grenades, and vehicles. Far Cry Primal replaces all of that. Bows, stone axes, and other Neolithic tools and plunges the series into a whole new setting with a completely different concept. If players were feeling the series was growing stale, then Primal was their salvation. The game places a lot more focus on the series' survival aspects and made approaching combat a bigger risk-slash-reward decision. One of Primal's best features is the ability to tame animals around you and use them as companions. The devs even went as far as to create a language by consulting Neolithic linguistic experts. While not as groundbreaking and memorable as its predecessors, Far Cry 5 was still a solid Far Cry experience. It included all of the usual trappings the series had us accustomed to. A charismatic villain, an open world setting, and plenty of violent and maniacal enemies to deal with as you saw fit. What mainly separates Far Cry 5 from other games was its setting. While past titles took place in exotic and mysterious locales, 5 was set in a western United States town. It also had a dog which you could choose to be your companion, and that's the only feature we really need it. If you were wondering what happened to Hope County after one of Far Cry 5's multiple endings, then New Dawn had you covered. A shorter, more self-contained experience, New Dawn felt more like a standalone expansion rather than a straight sequel like its predecessors. New features included replayable outposts, co-op gameplay, and a more vibrantly colorful setting. Recently announced by Ubisoft, 
Far Cry 6 is on everyone's radar for one very simple reason. The main villain is played by none other than Giancarlo Esposito of Breaking Bad fame. The game will return the series to its roots by taking place in an exotic location called Yara, a fictional place modeled after Cuba. The devs are calling it, quote, the biggest Far Cry playground to date. Not much further is known about the game so far, but Ubisoft did reveal that for the first time in Far Cry history, we'll be able to choose the gender of the main character.